troopers. I just went close to the edge. And guess what I saw? What'd you say? A dead body. Tree troopers! <clears throat> What's up? Man. So we're heading on our first our maiden voyage. Maiden voyage. All trials, everything, full glamp on. Yeah, you see how full the truck is. And we got a problem. We got a problem. We bought a 200 series, y'all. That's a problem? <sighs> no, that's the problem. Oh, that's <laughs> the problem, yeah. Look at that. <clears throat> Look at that. We gotta do better. So we're doing our first. Our maiden voyage. <laughs> Bring it in. We were told by another couple from Atlanta that we would not make it through. And. Yeah. I can see why they said that. <laughs> yeah, if they didn't have four wheel drive. Yeah, that would have scared them. That was deep. Of, yeah, that was deep. Oh, we heading up to the campsite. We are heading up to the campsite, and we had to, we had to get out because there are two mud puddles. This looks like a daggum swamp. Uh, option A, it's thrice options. Option B, oh, and there's even option D. Yeah, which one are you gonna take, baby? I'm gonna check. If I can't tell how deep it is with this friendly stick, then then we won't do it. Oh, that's a good stick, too. You might need all that length. Oh, but you need it to be sturdy so you can check the how hard it is. So I'm going to tell you, on Dakota, he feels some kind of way we got our new truck. And the couple, really nice couple, um, also from Atlanta, they was like, yeah, y'all not going to make it. I don't know why they said that to Dakota Staples. Stick all the way out in the middle. Okay, so it's hard and not not too deep. Okay, so as long as it's hard, we're good. You can tell this is gonna be beautiful already. school today the truck was so packed we didn't bring any wood so i'm driving dakota's fetching wood you know how we used to do right. gotta go fetch wood you want to eat you gotta fetch wood this is high tech compared to frank what is this feature and why does it sound like this this is a crawl control and it's on like this sort of like off-road cruise control, but it does a lot of everything for you. <laughs> it is a, it like drives itself. It's driving itself. I'm just steering. See how far you are away from the law. Do you feel like you're tilted that much? This is Duke's vegetarian baked beans with turkey, hot dogs, little peppers and onions. <laughs> We're camping. <laughs> but it feels like we're glamping. We're outside, y'all. We're outside.
Dakota's getting the fire together. Troopers, I just went close to the edge. And guess what I saw? What'd you say? A dead body. <laughs> you ain't seen a dead body. What's a, a body of what? It said that it's over the end of the cliff. What was it a body of? Jeep. <laughs> There's a dead Jeep. Are you serious? There's a dead Jeep. It's a Jeep. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta hike down to the bottom to I'm see. Not going right, right it's now. a dead body. Not right now. I'll go when it's not raining. <laughs> Sonya and I are out doing some camping, trying to get to a more chill space in our life, but you know we love to off-road. And today I wanted to show you guys a little bit about uh, walking down a trail. You walk through puddles, um, look where your truck is gonna go. You wanna make sure that you're not putting yourself in a bad situation um, where your truck can't fight through and then you're stuck. So I decided just to go out, walk down a few of the trails to make sure there wasn't anything that might be more than what diet is capable of. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's a Land Cruiser, should be able to do it, but yeah. But there's a good practice to walking down your trails, having a pre-runner, someone who knows the trails, things like that really help you out. But when you don't know anything about a trail, you need to get out and walk it down. So you guys, it has been a really rainy day today. It probably started raining about noon and Nakota and I, we almost didn't come here because we thought it was gonna rain all week. But when I tell you this rainy day has been the most perfect day ever. It's been a terrific rainy day. It's yeah. Terrific. I mean, it couldn't be more perfect early. We were able to get some hammock time in. Nakota went meditating. Yeah. We just sat and chilled and talked. Um, what else did we do? I don't then the rain came and we just got under the gazebo. Gently. Gently. Yeah, it gently came. I could see it coming. Like looking at, I was like, oh, Nicole, it is going to rain. So um, we brought our little chairs in and make sure, took the hammocks down to make sure it wouldn't get wet. And all the wood got wet. We went into town, Dollar General. Um, they didn't have any wood. So, you know, we always have a backup. We got a backup to a backup. So we got out our Outland Living gas fireplace yep. and our Kelty bestie blankets that Teresa Glamp Queen, Glamp Queen she got us these for Christmas one year and I love them love, love them Can't besties have to have besties so I think we need to have this beautiful scenery and pay homage to the Black Lives Matter movement um, specifically George Floyd, specifically to Mr. Floyd, because um, what we didn't realize was happening because we were so disconnected. We did not realize that um, he would lose his life and start a movement. You know, we were already struggling with COVID and quarantine and social distancing and not being with our family and our friends but we did not know that George Floyd would lose his life and the Black Lives Matter movement would be generate be regenerated in the way that it was you know um it has been beautiful to see our American allies and our international allies stand up, you know, stand beside black people in the fight for justice and equality. You know, one of the things that we didn't realize I know I didn't realize it before this trip, is that we go camping to achieve a freedom that we can't get in our day-to-day -day lives. You know, being outside, being in nature, moments like this, with no one around, 
we can truly be ourselves without judgment, without fear. And I think it, it really spoke to me having such an impactful moment <clears throat> to happen um, in this space, you know. I realized that the fight is not um, just against police brutality, it's not against racism, it's, it's against freedom. You know, the fight is for freedom. And that's essentially, you know, what we want. This, this moment was huge. And you know, we came home to, by Friday, um, everyone, a lot of people across the country had organized and moved in such an impactful way. So I think we should dedicate this trip, this video, to um, the Black Lives Matter movement, all of the lives that have been lost in that movement, all the lives that have been impacted, all of the injustices that have occurred. This is what we should dedicate this video to. What you think? Thank you.